Martinez. I'm the founder and owner of Don Bujito. I call it the first edible insect food business in the United States. A lot of people had a misconception that these guys live in the ground, in the dirt, and they associate dirt with dirtiness and like yuck. Some people find the idea inherently disgusting. That looks pretty disgusting. You want to try one? <laughs> Um, um, I... Would you try one? No. It doesn't take long before that barrier in your head just disappears and you realize that what I'm looking at here is just food. There's nothing weird about it. It's obvious that this is going to be part of our food supply going forward. My name's Megan Miller and I'm the founder of Biddy Foods. In every one of our cookies, there's about 15 crickets, but they're in the form of powder, so you wouldn't be able to tell. 80% of the world's cultures already eat edible insects from Southeast Asia to Latin America to Africa. Basically, the Western world is the only holdout. No, I don't eat insects. I've seen other people eat insects, but it's not really something I've ever wanted to try. I'll get my protein from beef, from meat products. I don't want to eat an insect. We're trying to, you know, educate people about the benefits of eating insects. How to maybe slowly start replacing maybe one dish of protein, like fish, poultry, or beef, or red meat, and start using insects. Would you try one of these bugs here? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, totally open to that, yeah. I would be down to try. Huh. By the year 2050, there's going to be an additional 2 billion people on the planet. And economists are saying that our current agricultural system can't be scaled to feed all of those people in the way that they're being fed right now. So by introducing an additional sustainable protein source into the food system, we're going to have a lot more resources to feed people. There's this huge chance for insects to form a part of the solution we need to address the problems of food security in the 21st century. We're basically helping take insect farming from pre-industrial levels up to where the rest of modern farming is at. What we're doing right now is trying to get more people raising insects sustainably on a commercial scale so that we can start to get a larger supply so that the edible insect companies will have a supply that we can use to get this food source into the mainstream. We've got to get to the point where insect production happens as part of kind of an industrial process which is heavily automated, doesn't require a lot of manual input from humans and basically physically moving stuff around. Edible insects have the potential to reduce global greenhouse gases because they consume a lot less resources and they emit far less methane than other kinds of animals. Okay, well looking at it is not quite what I had in mind, but... It tastes like a chip. Crunchy, like a little cracker. These guys don't have cholesterol, saturated fats. I mean, edible insects are not only a healthier diet, but also they're sustainable, they're ecological. So it's a good alternative to start thinking also about all the waste production that we generate. <laughs> this is horrible. Not as crazy as I thought it would be. It's not that bad. I like it. 